I'm Helen from the Royal Astronomical Society, and I'm here with Christopher Go, who's been working on uh, the Juno data. So can you tell me uh, very briefly what you do with the data? Well, I don't really work on Juno data, but I take my images, and uh, my images are used by the Ju uh, Juno team to basically plot where they're going to shoot on Jupiter, and secondly, also to understand what they're tr trying to uh, image. So I hear you've got a lot of tips for people um, trying to take images, and obviously we've got a lot of amateur astronomers involved in Juno. It's, it's been it's been quite amazing. So what sort of tips would you give to people? Well, to get the best image, uh, take 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 care of the little things, and uh, get a lot of image. Yeah, and um, I believe you were saying something about the jet stream yesterday in your lecture. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people seem concerned about that. What what what's the problem with the jet stream and taking photos? The problem with the jet stream is if you're over the jet stream, then there's no way you can take any good photos. So uh, as long as you're free from the jet stream, that's then you have a chance to get a great image. So what would you recommend to people who are right under it? I mean, move? Uh, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, yeah, so there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, and th there was something about cooling the telescope and um, some things like that, I think. Yeah, well, taking care of the little things like collimating your telescope, cooling the telescope, making the you know the tube inside the telescope have the same temperature as the background air. So that's very important in getting the, the best image. And also, uh, if, if uh, you know conditions aren't that great, uh, capture a lot of image and uh, do some, uh, it'll allow you to do more aggressive sharpening after. Okay, cool. It's well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, Christopher. Thank you very much. So I'm Helen and uh, we'll see you next time.